Hello friends, welcome to this exercise on how to determine the built-up voltage in a DC shunt generator with varying field excitation and performance analysis on load. At the end of this video, you will be able to test and identify the terminals of a DC shunt generator, measure the speed of a DC shunt generator with the help of a tachometer, connect a DC shunt generator and build up the voltage, load the DC shunt generator and determine its characteristics. Let us collect the tools, materials and machinery required to do this exercise. Combination pliers, screwdriver, electrician's knife, tachometer, moving coil ammeter 0 to 1 ampere, moving coil voltmeter 0 to 300 volts, moving coil ammeter 0 to 20 ampere, DC shunt generator, rheostat, knife switch double pole, knife switch single pole, lamp load. Read and interpret the nameplate details of the given DC shunt generator. Identify the terminals of the given DC shunt generator. Identify the terminal pairs using test lamps. Identify the armature and field windings with the brightness of test lamp. Connect the circuit as per the circuit diagram. Keep the field switch open and the field rheostat in the cut in position or minimum position. Start the prime mover coupled to the DC shunt generator. The direction of rotation must be according to the direction marked on the DC generator. If not, change the direction of the rotation of the prime mover. Measure the speed of the generator with the help of the tachometer. The number of revolutions made by a machine in a minute or RPM. Adjust the prime mover speed such that the generator runs at its rated speed. Keep the speed constant throughout the experiment. Measure the voltage induced across the armature and note down the measured value in tabulation. This induced voltage is due to the residual magnetism as the field current is zero. If the residual magnetism is absent in the field poles, then there will be no residual voltage. In such a case, the residual magnetism could be recreated by connecting the field winding to a DC source, such as a battery, for a short time. Close the field circuit switch and gradually increase the field current to 0.1 ampere by reducing the resistance of the field rheostat. If the generator is not able to build up voltage, even though it is running in the marked direction, Switch off the prime mover and then interchange the field terminals of the generator. Something like even of the field terminal to positive terminal of ammeter and terminal E2 to the switch. While varying the field rheostat or regulator, it should be done positively and slowly in the forward direction. Reverse movement should be avoided. Increase the field current slowly in steps of 0.1 ampere and for each step note down the field current and the corresponding induced voltage. Increase the field current only till the induced voltage reaches just above 125% of the rated value. Check the speed of the generator at intervals. If necessary, adjust it to the rated value. Switch off the DC generator and the prime mover. Draw the graph keeping the induced voltage in the Y axis and the field current in the X axis. Determine the performance analysis of DC shunt generator on different loads. Measure the armature resistance using a multimeter. Set the multimeter in resistance mode or to low value and place the multimeter probes across the armature terminals. Note the readings. Select appropriate cables, switch load and meters according to the capacity of the given DC shunt generator. Connect the meters, rheostat and lamp load with the terminals of the DC shunt generator as shown in the circuit diagram. Keep the load switch open and switch off all the circuit switches in the lamp load. Keep the field regulator resistance in cut in position or minimum position. Be clear about the method of starting the prime mover and the procedure of adjusting its speed. Start the prime mover and bring it to the rated speed of the generator. By adjusting the field rheostat, build up the voltage of the generator to its rated value. Enter the value of the open circuit voltage in tabulation. Determine open circuit voltage V is equal to E minus IA and multiplied by RA where E is the induced EMF, IA is the armature current, RA is the armature resistance. 
distance. Determine the armature current IA is equal to IL plus ISH, where IL is the load current, ISH is the field current. In the case of no load, IL is equal to zero. Hence, IA is equal to ISH. Therefore, at no load, the terminal voltage comes to V is equal to E minus zero plus ISH and multiplied by RA. Close the load switch and gradually load the generator by switching on a few lamps. Read the corresponding terminal voltage, shunt field current, load current and record them in tabulation. Check the speed of the generator at intervals and adjust it to the rated value. Increase the load current up to 125% of its rated value. Note down the corresponding terminal voltage and field current for each step of load current in tabulation. Gradually reduce the load current to zero and switch off the load circuit and the prime mover. Draw the graph of the external characteristic of a DC shunt generator by keeping the terminal voltage in the Y axis and the load current in the X axis. I hope after watching this video, you will be able to test and identify the terminals of a DC shunt generator, measure the speed of a DC shunt generator with the help of a tachometer, connect a DC shunt generator and build up the voltage, load the DC shunt generator and determine its characteristics. This concludes the exercise. See you in the next exercise.